Clarence, The Cricket is Short Stories for Kids. Today we have a book named Clarence the Cricket by Pat. Pierre Short Stories for Kids. I think they're so pretty. I hope you guys really enjoy it. I love it. Please give this video a like if you enjoy it, and don't forget to subscribe for more stories. Thank you, reading. So, here we go. Freddy sat outside on a sunny summer afternoon and watched butterflies dancing around his mother's flower garden. He had been sick with leukaemia for a long time, but now he was getting better. Today was the first time his mom had allowed him outside. He sat in a chair with a book on his lap. The sun felt warm on his face, yet Freddy felt sad. Everyone had friends to play with except Freddy. He couldn't wait to get better. I guess my old friends think sick kids are no fun. At that moment, he felt a tickle near his ear. He thought it was a fly, so he brushed at his ear. Don't do that said a voice. You might hurt me. Freddy quickly turned his head and looked around the lawn, who said that. I did, said the voice. But I don't see anyone, said Freddy. That's because I'm small, said the voice. Look on your shoulder. Freddy turned and looked, and on his shoulder there sat a cricket. He reached over and took the cricket off. His shoulder and held it in the palm of his hand, the cricket was dressed in a brown hat, green shirt, and black pants. I'm Clarence, said the cricket. Wow, you can talk, said Freddy as he held the cricket. Yes, I can, said the cricket. My name's Freddy. He stared at Clarence. Crickets aren't supposed to talk, and they never wear clothes, said Freddy. I'm special, said Clarence, puffing out his chest. How so? asked Freddy. I'm here to be your friend until you get better, said Clarence, smiling. Wow, said Freddy. You mean you'll play games and stuff with me? Absolutely, answered the cricket. Now, let's get started. What do you want to do first? Play checkers, said Freddy. They played checkers, and then they played over and over again. Now let's play I Spy, said Freddy. Clarence Cricket was very good at guessing. He was much better at it than Freddy and proved to be a great player. In the coming days... Clarence played Star Wars, Connect Four, Boggle, and many other games with Freddy. As the summer days continued, Freddy grew stronger and healthier. He and Clarence went for longer and longer walks together. They practiced skimming stones on the surface of the pond. Freddy began to feel the energy flow through him. He was happy once again. You sure are getting stronger, said his mom. Yes, I am, said Freddy. That's because of Clarence. Who's Clarence? asked his mom, looking puzzled. He's my friend the cricket, said Freddy. A cricket, said his mom. Yes. He's in my room, and he stays in a jar, answered Freddy. He played games with me every day. We have lots of fun together, he said. His mom and dad looked at each other and shook their head. That boy has some imagination, said his dad. He's real, said Freddy. We're always playing games, telling stories to each other and laughing. Toward the end of the summer, Freddy felt much better. His mother said, Freddy, your doctor said you are doing fantastic. It's time for you to see some children your own age. I don't need to, said Freddy, because I have Clarence. 
The next morning, Clarence said to Freddy, I have something to tell you, and I don't want you to be sad. Freddy, it's time for me to go. You don't need me anymore. Oh, no, said Freddy. But you can't go. You're my friend. Yes, I am your friend. Yet, it's time for me to help other children. You'll be fine without me. And with a wave, he flew away. Freddy felt sad without Clarence, and he didn't want to do much. In the afternoon, he saw that a new family had moved into the empty house next door to him. A boy who was just about his age stood on the lawn. Freddy ran over and introduced himself. Hi, I'm Freddy. I know, said the boy. How do you know? asked Freddy. The cricket told me, he said, and then he winked. The end. Good job, friends. Thank you so much for reading with me. Bye, I'll see you next time.